This is a story about Trevor, based on a railway series by the Reverend W. Audrey and laid out by me, Anthony Jovine. This is a story about Trevor, the traffic engine. He was going to be broken up for scrap, but then my error is determined to find his new friend a home. The fact that it works with them hard, but they are very proud when he calls them really useful. I'm going to scrap you today, oh, called Thomas. What? Already? Not that old, if I sound cheekily. Tom is only teasing. The scrap is full of retro cars and machinery. They are broken into pieces, loaded into trucks, and Eric pulls them to the steelworks, where they are melted down and used again. There's primary for Evan in the yard. It was a traction engine. Hello, said Edward. You're not broken and rusty. What are you doing here? I'm Trevor, the traction engine said. They're going to bring me up next week. What a shame, said Edward. My driver says I need some paint, polish, and oil to be as good as new container, Trevor. But my master thinks I'm old fashioned. Edward snorted. Some people think that I'm old fashioned, but I don't care. The fact was that I'm a useful engine. Right. My driver says I'm useful too, said Trevor. Even the job is hard, I don't give up, I never broken down in my life. Well, what did you do? asked oh, Edward. Like my master would send us from farm to farm, he Trevor replied. We thrashed corn, hauled logs, and lots of other work. The children love to see ball. us. Treasure's eyes remembering. I miss the children, he sighed. Eric took off of the station. Broken up, what a shame. Broken up, what a shame, he claimed. I'm not up, Trevor. I must. Eric are all his friends that liked engines, but he knew none of them were not in the room for tracking and at home. It's a shame. It's a shame, he hissed. As Eric pulled on the station, the next standing on the platform was the vicar. Hello, Edward, you look upset. What's the matter, Charlie? he asked the driver. The track and the scrap of vicar. The driver replied, "He'll be broken up next week." Jim Cole says he never drove with better room, better, better engine. Do say him, sir," said Edward. "He's a really useful engine. He can carry wood and give children rides." "We'll see," replied the vicar. "Yes." Jim Cole came in the scrapyard on Saturday. "The man's time to see you, Trevor," he said. "Maybe he'll buy you." "Do you think he will?" asked Trevor hopefully. "The one I lit your fire and cleaned you up," Jim told him. We the vicar and the two boys arrived that evening. George, what can you do, Trevor? said the vicar. Trevor drove around the yard. He hadn't felt so happy for months. Mine, Later, the vicar came in the office, smiling. Trevor's coming home with me, Jim, he said. Do you hear that, Trevor? cried Jim. The ram is safe here, and you live vicarage now. Peep, peep, was Trevor happily. Now Trevor Thomas is in the vicar's orchard and he sees every, every day. His paint is spotless and his brass shines like gold. Trevor likes his work, but his house day is a church fate. With a Wednesday pulled to his bunker, he starts around the orchard giving rights to children. Well, here we go. We Long afterwards, he will see him through his eyes, remembering. Like that means anything to you. I like being with Joel again, he whispers happily. 